Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Friday, February 25th, 2022. Number one. As expected, Russia began its invasion of Ukraine Thursday. The early morning attacks began with the launch of scores of missiles, air raids, and a convoy of tanks. Ukrainian President Zelensky told his people to seek shelter in the bomb shelters of buildings and even subway stations. President Vladimir Putin took to Russian television in what was described as a long rambling message in which he railed against the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, and called the United States an empire of lies. Number two, last week a judge in Florida dismissed a defamation and conspiracy lawsuit former Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman filed against the parents of Trayvon Martin. In his order, the judge wrote that Zimmerman failed to show any fraudulent representation and said any further arguments in the case would be futile. Tracy Martin, the father of Trayvon, has since created the Circle of Father Conference. This provides fathers and sons an opportunity to take part in an engaging, energetic, and educational panel discussion about the challenges facing young men and the importance of fathers in our communities. Number three. U.S. health officials said some people getting Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine should consider waiting up to eight weeks between the first and second doses instead of the three or four weeks previously recommended. CDC officials said they were reacting to research showing that the longer interval can provide more enduring protection against the coronavirus. Research suggests that 12 to 64-year-old people, especially males between the ages of 12 and 39, can benefit from the longer spacing. Number four, the South Dakota House passed an anti-transgender sports ban, Senate Bill 46, thus becoming the first state legislature to send discriminatory anti-transgender legislation to a governor's desk in 2022. The House also passed House Bill 1005, a bill prohibiting transgender students from using multi-occupancy public school facilities consistent with their gender identity. This includes shower rooms, bathrooms, changing rooms, and sleeping rooms for overnight trips. Number five, from the world of small business ownership to the political arena to the halls of corporations nationwide, black women are making strides like never before. Entrepreneur Dr. Sheila Robinson is celebrating the accomplishments of these exceptional women in corporate America through her company, Diversity Woman Media. Diversity Woman Media is a multi-platform professional and executive leadership development company that advocates diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. Life is a series of choices. Choose to breathe. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the American Heart Association. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.